All right, beer tubers, welcome to part four of the cellar slash beer collection. Let's go through this box. A lot of brewery stuff in here. It's a Morona City V, actually the collaboration they did with Cigar City. And then there's three bottles of Queer. Beer Bach, one of those provision releases. My, my Bach Asian Oak Barrels, that's a pretty cool beer. Black Butte 23. The Phantom La Dalmatian, something along those lines. Another queer. It's a Lost Abbey Ten Commandments. I, there's no date on there, so that's either a eleven, a ten, or eleven. I, don't, I can't remember. Saison Brett from 2011. Batch Ten of Big Bad Baptist. I reviewed that one. Excellent beer. It's a 2012 Sea Monster from Ballast Point. And this is a Lost Abbey Veritas 9. All right, this next box has a lot of brewery stuff too. There's a Gunga Galunga provisions release. We have, uh, I think it was my lone bottle of cotton, second anniversary. Definitely my lone bottle of Papier, their first anniversary. Salt of the Earth, the goes they made. 2011 Parabola. It's uh, Alaskan Perseverance Ale, celebrated 25 years. The brewery's Black Orchard. I think they only made this once, or they discontinued a long time ago. That's Hanger 24's uh, Hammerhead, barrel roll number four. It's a big barley wine, Asian rye whiskey and bourbon barrels. 09 Alaskan Barley Wine. That's a pretty good beer if you can get it. Another Marona Sidifee, you really like that beer. This is quadruple their quad with uh, God. I heard this is drinking well, so I might have to open that soon. And the brewery's Mischief Gone Wild, Mischief with Brett. So in the third box, we have a Black Butte 24 from the Chutes. That's my favorite batch since uh, the 21st. Three French hands from the brewery. Coronado's Barrel Aged Barley Wine. It's a brandy barrel aged beer. That was good, good stuff. Tartar Darkness, that was the full, the batch two. That one's really in there, hold on. Stone Vertical Epic, 111111. 11. This is the uh, original batch of Firestone Walker Abacus. That, I forget how many of those I have left. That might be my only one. This is Odell's Deconstruction. That was, the, I think, believe the first batch that had the uh, four blended components. The Shoots Jubal 2010. Allagash is black. The Belgian style is batch 11. The shoots the dissident from 2010. One of my favorite labels. That's uh, Jester King's Black Metal. This is the non-farmhouse version. And then a Churchill's Finest Hour. I believe this is a uh, the Silver Wax is a 2011. Okay, so in here we have another bottle of Stones, Vertical Epic 1111, white wine barrels. Yeah, that's a batch one parabola. I have two bottles of that right now. I'm gonna drink one soon in a vertical though. That's a, a Veritas 8 from Lost Abbey. Last time I had this beer, uh, it was drinking excellent. Uh, so Lost Abbey, Cuvée de Tommy from 2009. That was last year they did 750s of it. This is a 2013 new batch of Churchill's Finest Hour. Anchorage Brewing's Bitter Monk. That's probably my favorite beer they've done so far, and they've done some really nice beers. This is a Lost Abbey Saints Devotion. So that's regular devotion with Brett from uh, 2012. That's now in uh, 375s, I believe. Mee Keller, Three Floyd's Boo Goop. That's the only one in the series, I believe, that's made it at least to San Diego area. 2012 Dissident. And I'm aging some uh, Alesmith beers. There's the Grand Cru. Just to see what they do. The uh, 2010 Decadence, that's the English Old Ale, phenomenal beer. And even a Speedway Stout, although I probably would recommend this fresh. I mean, it is a coffee beer. Another mix of beers here. Saison de Lent from the brewery, that's a 2010 vintage, thanks to their sticker. This is the uh, the beer I got with the book, the Stones book, the 2010 Old Garden. It's the Belgo version of Burden Barrels. K 
Cascades the Vine from 2011 project, so it came out in 2012. I got a new batch of the, the latest release on the way to me. Carl Strauss 22nd anniversary, that was a really nice beer fresh. It's a Stone 2010 IRS. Sierra Nevada's 30th anniversary, it's the Grand Cru. So that was a blend of Bigfoot and Pale and something else. Big celebration. 2009 Double Bastion Burn Barrels. One of the best uh, releases Stone has done in the QM series, the Barrel Age series. It's great stuff. The brewery Smoking Wood. It's the original batch in uh, Rye Whiskey Barrels. Uintas Oak Jacked. I know, you know, it's Imperial Pumpkin Ale. We'll see how it does with some age. Another Sierra Nevada 30th Anniversary. This is the Fritz and Ken Stout. The brewery Snicker Fritz, another provisions beer. And then Alesmith's Wee Heavy. Should age nicely. Okay, so this is my box of Batch 1 Iron Fist stuff, although I do have one of their beers in the fridge if you saw the previous video. So these are all uh, first bottlings of their beers. Want to see how they did with some age. They're past two years on their anniversary, so it's Golden Age, the Golden Strong, Spice of Life, Spice sort of Beer de Garde, their Double Fist to Double. This is uh, Imperial Rebellion. Chris Stelz just reviewed that one. This is their, uh, an awesome beer. This is Dark Days. This is their Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stout. So it's Velvet Glove, basically, and uh, an amped version of Velvet Glove and Velvet Glove and Barrels. Hired Hand, their Saison. Batch 1 Bel Velvet Glove. And Batch 1 of Off Hand, which is a variation on their uh, Hired Hand Saison. So like I said, I have the, uh, the other one in the fridge. And I'd like to get a tasting done of these pretty soon. So I was hunting through this box and I found Iron Fist, uh, another batch one of their beers. This is Resistance, their Wild Ale. And uh, I'm going to put that with the other box. So I replaced that bottle with another one in here. So a bunch of brewery stuff. Again, just seeing how Autumn Maple will do some age. That's from 2011. Two bottles of Acer Quarkus, the Lawson's uh, collaboration. And I have two bottles of the first batch of Tarted Darkness. Mrs. Stoutfire is going to go in there. That beer should age pretty nicely. It's a batch 300 triple. That's what this other one is over here. My lone Cantillon left. That's a 2011 Fafoon I got from Peter. Thanks, Peter. Another Blackview 23. This is just a, a test. Stone 15th. One of the, uh, probably the best ever Imperial Black IPA. And then one of my other favorite beers these days. Logsdon up in Oregon. This is their... Uh, Saison Breta, this is a Saison with Brett, phenomenal beer. Um, and they actually use beeswax to wax the cap on there. So that's this box. So in this box we have Barrel Age Speedway Stout, that's the new release. Black Xanthus from Nectar Ales, Firestar Walker brews that beer. Um, I think this might be like an older batch. And it's a Purple Wax Eclipse. I think that's Elijah Craig 16. It's not the 12. I think it's the it's the next one up. Uh, 2011 Stone IRS. It's a Serpent Stout I want to age. Launch number three from the brewery in 2011. A couple bottles of the first batch of Bells Point Indra Canindra. That's what the original label looked like for Holiday Wine Cellar. Two of those. It's a brewery dogfish head collaboration. And then I have three bottles of, which I'm going to mark of 2012 Oat Tart from the brewery. And here we have some stone stuff. There's their uh, 12th anniversary bitter chocolate oatmeal stout. 2011 Parabola. And then I have three bottles of the Oak Smoked Old Guardian. There's another one there. Another pride and joy right here. Drew Fontaine and Framboos. It's of course the 2011 batch because there's no way I was going to get the older one. Then I have uh, I believe three bottles of uh, 2011 IRS in here as well. This is a uh, Veritas 11. And then I have one bottle of the Belgo Anish uh, Russian Stout. And then this is uh, the new batch of Sour on the Rye which is awesome. Can't wait to see how that ages. Alright, so we have a 
2010 Stone IRS. I do miss the hat on the gargoyle. Just the regular version of 2010 Old Guardian and Bourbon Barrels. The Brewery's Ruse from last year. 2011 Abyss. This is a, uh, a batch one of Dogfish Head Bitches Brew. 2010 Abyss. This is a Jolly Pumpkins IO Saison. That was an expensive beer, but this is the uh, blend one from 2011. St. Bernard's Christmas Ale. I think that's from 2010 or 11. I think it's the same year I reviewed it, which was phenomenal. That's a 2010 Black Tuesday, my last bottle of that. Only got two originally. Anchorage Love Buzz, another awesome beer from them. 2010 Dark Lord. Green Wax, yeah, that needs a ton more age. That beer's a mess. And the collaboration Nugneo Jolly Pumpkin Stone Special Holiday Ale. This is the Nugneo version of it. So that wraps up that box.